Hello YouTube. Today we're going to throw, go over some stuff with thermostat. We're going to start with uh, how to wire up a thermostat. You get your thermostat. You can grab it on the back like that. You just pull it apart. If it was mounted on the wall, lift the bottom up and kind of go over. This is a Pro One IAQ. Should be from White Rogers. So now we have the basics of our thermostat, the parts. You have the thermostat itself and what's called your sub base. So it's two parts to your thermostat here. Here you have your pins that plug into the holes on the sub base that you do your system wiring at. Notice on this thermostat it has already installed an RH and RC jumper. You have to have that in place to have power for heating and air conditioning to work. A lot of older systems, you're talking what, 70s and 80s, the transformers that came with the natural draft furnace were powerful enough to run the furnace, but you had to have a 40 volt amp transformer to operate the extra power for the contactor and for the relay for operation. Today's furnaces all come ready for it so you have to have the RHRC jumper. If you wire it to where you have RH and no RC you'll have heating but no air conditioning. Vice versa if you wire it up for RC you'll have air conditioning and no heating. The R pretty much is your 24 volt power supply for the thermostat to switch the voltage to operate the functions. G, that's commonly where green wire is going to go to operate the fan. Y, commonly where a yellow wire will go to operate air conditioning. Sometimes instead of the yellow wire, manufacturers might have it where you have a blue wire to put in place of the yellow. W, which would be your white wire, runs heating. Here you have common O and B. This particular thermostat is battery operated or if you hook up a red wire for power and let's say black wire for cooling or for not cooling common you will have 24 volt power supply and doesn't rely on the batteries to operate. O and B is for your reversing valve. It's going to be either orange wire or blue wire depending on the system whether it energizes your heat pump reversing valve for cooling or heating. This particular thermostat we have WE and W2. WE that would be for emergency heat with your heat pump. W2 would be second stage for heating if you have a two stage furnace. We have a Y and a Y2 which means Y, y here alone would be Y1. Y2 would be second stage air conditioning. All you do you have your screws right there a little small flathead screwdriver fits in there you loosen up the screws stick your wires in the slot right there tighten up the screws make sure you have a good connection give maybe a little tug on the wires congratulations you've wired up a thermostat so red wire goes to the RCRH you must have that jumper there green that's for fan operation, Y is for cooling, W is for heat, O and B, one of those is for the reversing valve depending on whether it's energized in heating or cooling, and C is for 24 volt common for 24 volt power supply on here. Uh, hopefully that will give you some information to help you out on that. Take care. Bye bye.